Hello and welcome to the first episode of Let's Draw Tutorials. In this episode I will be showing you how to draw chibis that are a little bit more of a triangle shape. Now the first chibi we'll be demonstrating is one based off of this character right here. Her name is Tammy. This one right here. Not this type of chibi on the side because that is a chibi that was dropped by Corsa, but this chibi here. I mean, not this chibi, but the chibi will be of this character to demonstrate how you can just go from the way a character already looks to a chibi. Now, this character will have to be moved off screen, unfortunately, but you guys will know what image I'm looking at. And then I may add that's the old way to draw it. Yeah, that's the old way. Yeah. So, let's demonstrate. I will be doing a similar pose to the one scene, so I'll be to show you how you can use this way of drawing chibis, like, and not really have to change the way you already draw skeleton? Some people call them skeleton, some people call it a rough sketch, I don't know. But my pose is gonna be a little bit over-dramatized too, and, like, that's just the way sometimes I do stuff, I make them over-dramatized. So, to make this one over-dramatized, she would be standing like this. Actually, this is the first episode that the recording was done, not afterwards. In like, it's done in real. No, if you could say real time or not, but the tutorial was done at the same time as the recording. Like, at the same time. So this is the pose, how it's been over dramatized. You can see. Now I have to move this off screen once again. And now, which I'll show you how to draw the chibi. I will be turning down the opacity on that. And this is how I draw chibis. First, you start off with a circle. Next, the circle has to be large because chibis have larger heads. I'll move this up just a little bit because eventually there will be something that goes on the bottom of here. Actually, I could draw that in now. The part on the bottom here, which I usually do not draw now, but I think it would be better to draw this, is basically just a little cone that goes on the bottom of this circle. Now this circle can be like evened out, like here, I'm drawing it more evened out on the sides, and this little point down here of the cone usually matches up with the center line of wherever they would be looking, which in this case I just realized is wrong, she should be looking away. So I will need to change that. Now, drawing once again in the circle. Some people want to draw the center line first, which I will do, so you don't have to do this. Drawing the center line in first, from you know, and the eyes will match up with this line here on the bottom of the circle, which is why the cone is needed. Now this little quick, easy cone just goes like this, and you don't need too much definition to the face, it's just a little cone. More details will be added in order to make it look more like a face with cheeks and dents, but for now you don't need that. Now this is the part why I call them a triangle chibi that I draw, is the neck, or where the body meets the head, would be about right here for the chibi. So I would go down and draw just simply a triangle connecting from where the waist is, this bottom, would be the bottom line of the triangle, and then the triangles, um, I guess some people could call these legs, would extend and connect to the neck here. Now. What I do from here is I would draw a collarbone, which is what I do when I draw normally too. I would draw a collarbone here, which will show me where the shoulders are, and then from the shoulders I just come straight down and I begin to draw some arms. Now because this is a chibi, I do not usually give defined hands, so either it would be a circle or it will just end in a little nub-like shape. And here the way the chibi would look. The chibis usually have an arm distance, have this little circle here for like the difference for where the body is to the hand. Some chibis don't have this, but mine do, and that's why I named this method specifically a triangle chibi. Now from here I will add a little line cutting off the triangle in which, if I were to draw a center line to the body, which actually there is one that was already drawn on a lower opacity, but now I'm changing that center line sort of to where the center of the triangle is, not the body. The center would be down here, which then means these little points, which look kind of like a diamond's bottom points, or maybe you could say now it looks like the chibi has like undies on or something. 
or maybe a bathing suit, you would draw these in here, which now would follow this new line that is a center line, or it could follow this line that is already here, but mine does not. Mine usually end up a little bit askew from what the original, to what the original, <clears throat> excuse me, what the original sketch, which I call them sketches, some people call them bones, was. Now from here, you would add the legs, just following suit. The legs would come down in this fashion of which normal legs would, like this, and they would come down here, and you would have a little nub at the end. Also at the same here, you would have this little nub here. Now, this chibi can be left here, or you can draw the chibi much shorter, which is usually what I like to do, draw my chibis much shorter. So I could either just resize the legs right now, but I don't want to do that. Just in case you're drawing on paper, I want you to be able to follow along very easily. So you can leave the chibi where it is here. So I will duplicate this layer to show you that it can be left the way that it is. Now to draw chibis the way that I would, well, that I would draw these a little bit differently would be I would shorten the legs. So even if the line, even if the knees were to be right here, I would shorten it in order to make it look cuter. So the first thing I would do is draw the back leg. Sometimes I would, sometimes I wouldn't. Which this is when chibi start to kind of change anatomy here, is because now it's just much shorter, the body to leg portion is much shorter than regular anatomy. Now going here, it will, oh, I think my pen sensitivity just went away for a few seconds. But now doing this, and now the body is much shorter. Not the body, but just pants itself. Now erasing guidelines, because I drew this all on the same layer, because I'm trying my best to get as close as possible to the way someone would draw this on paper, rather than drawing it on the computer. Now erasing these extra lines that would not need to be here, just a little bit of cleanup. And from here, we'd go back to the head. This is where the head gets a little bit more definition. I will lightly erase over the head to show some depth. But before I do that, oh, I'll show you the difference between these two. One having a little bit more of a leg ratio that is more to real proportions, where from here to here-ish is about the same length from here to here. These are just the legs are a bit longer, but that's a stylist of choice. I usually do. I have my legs much longer than my torso. But these would be around the same length or almost the same. So these two would be equal in this one. In this one, the proportions would be a lot more askew, but it makes the chibi look a lot cuter. Now, back to this. Making the head a little bit more defined. Oh, I had it on the same way. I think I'll leave it on the same layer. Having had a little bit more defined and showing where the cheek would be, it would be this line right here still defines where the eyes will eventually be at the chibi. So, or at least where the bottom line of the eyes will line up, because this whole area will be used for the mouth and nose if you want to add one. So from here you will add a cheek, which is just a little round bump, have it come right back down to where the line already is, or just a little bit below, maybe for where the chin already is. And from back from that same point where the cheek started off from, at that line from where the eyes will be, you'll come straight up and around curve and make a forehead. Pretty easy. Now after this, we will come all the way around, following your guidelines, and completing, not completely completing, but making more of the head. Now we'll go back to where the chin was, right here and draw a nice little point that continues following where our guideline was. Now this is where we start to go off our guidelines. You would draw a little, just tiny little showing of a uh, jawline, yes a jawline right here. And then from there, drawing an ear is very optional but it helps me out a lot to know where some placement things are. Drawing out like a little quick ear. Oh, that's some notifications. You don't have to draw an ear, you don't have to draw this detail, you just leave it as a C, but do as you will. Now, after this, 
we will come back down to here and quickly draw in where the neck would be. The neck just curves straight down. The neck is really off from the guidelines, but it's just really easy. You just draw a quick little hourglass-like curve that goes down from the head onto the shoulder. And you do the same on the other side, but for this one you could draw a straight line, which I'm not very in favor of, but just quickly draw in a little neck and then have it scoop out to where the shoulder is. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Now you would erase your guidelines, not all of them yet, because you still want to know where your eyes will eventually be placed, but just for the purpose of cleanup, we will just erase around here. Now this is where I'm actually going to start to add a brand new layer, unlike those of you who are maybe using paper to follow this tutorial, I don't know well, but now I will draw in the details of the chibi. So back again, let's look at this picture. Of Tammy. Yes, I did remember her name, I did not forget. <laughs> um, Tammy. And her eyes are this nice little, I mean, it's, I would not call it, oh, that's why I kept moving it off the screen, because I like, look at this, it would just show up. So, of this shape here, I would be attempting to imitate that. So, I will move it over here. And now that the image has moved, I can still see it off screen and draw in. Eyes. Now, a personal, like, it's not personal, but yeah, it's a personal preference. I like to draw the nose in first. No matter how I'm drawing, I love to draw the nose in first. So first, the nose will be drawn. Her nose is a bit on the pointier side, but I like to draw the nose just kind of like a really tiny little small nose, like this. It's not that big of a nose. I could make it smaller, make it a little bit more cute, like make the nose look a little bit more like this. That's a cuter nose. And now I would draw in the eyes. Sometimes I would draw the mouth in right now, but right now I'll just draw in the eyes. From here, the eyes will become a lot more dramatically larger than other eyes, which is something that I really just liked from other chibis, seeing the eyes just a lot larger than they would normally be. Most things actually do this because chibis aim is to be cute. So how do you make it cute? You just make the eyes larger, you make the nose smaller and less defined. Adding in, I don't know what that's called, I mean the iris? I'm not too sure though. And adding in over dramatizing more details, like overly feminine details, like drawing in larger eyelashes and drawing bottom eyelashes, even though they may not be there in the actual image, or at least not this defined, adding in eyelashes this defined can make them look more dramatized and the whole entire idea is a chibi is to dramatize certain aspects that make characters cute and making a character cute is a com can be just bigger like those doll eyelashes those really big thick doll eyelashes can be to help over dramatize a character and make them look even cuter adding in this once again i think it's called an iris you can tell me what they're called in the comments if you like I'd be okay with that because I'm not really sure how to Google what are those things, the color part in here? Yeah, I think it's called an iris. I believe so. Let's just add these over-dramatized eyelashes once again, which is just really easy. It's just a flick of the pencil, a flick of the pen tablet, or just a flick of the wrist. <laughs> I never even actually listened to that song, but I heard a lot of people talk about it before. Adding these, these little doe eyelashes, and now I will add in pupils. Drawing in the eye can be of personal preference in the way you'd like to. I'm actually going to show you two different ways to draw the eyes in. One way would be utilizing this pupil method like normal. Drawing in the pupil, having it connect slightly with the top of the eye because that's what pupils do. They connect to the top of the eye unless you're having a surprise look. And I like to give the little shines because the shines make it look cuter. Now, another way to also draw the eyes in would just be with these two big shines in the eye, and sometimes filling in everything except for the shines can also make them look pretty cute. Now from here, you could make the center part darker, and then once again, utilize the pupils. But for this, it's not the pupils that you want to convey, you want to convey more of a cute little look. Now, 
My personal favorite is the way this looks, though this does give more of a cute effect. I'm not sure I may keep these eyes. I will keep them for this drawing. I love the way that those eyes look. They just look so cute to me. I'm going to add those. I'm going to leave them in. Now from here, the eyebrows could be put in, but because my because this character has high bangs, low bangs, not high, low bangs, the eyebrows will not have to be drawn. Now here's where you draw on hair. Drawing on hair and different details as such, you would not need to really make it more chibi. All you have to do is really just know where it is on the normal character. Now let's say you don't really have a character to look at to make it chibi. Well then you draw just the way you would draw whenever you're designing any other character. You would just do as you want it to look. Or look at your reference card. It doesn't really matter. So it ends up the way that you want it to look. That's it. Since I'm looking at this character, I'm going to try my best to imitate her hairstyle. One thing that is a problem, though, is that the character is... Or the, port the hair goes down to her shoulders, but because it is a chibi, her shoulders are a lot less defined, and there's not too much of a shoulder guide to go to. So, this could be caused a problem in making the hair look much longer than it's supposed to look. But that is okay. Having the hair maybe look over-dramatized or longer is just a part of the chibi. Because the eyes are already over-dramatized. A lot of things are over-dramatized with this style. And chibis in general, everything is over-dramatized from the eyes to the expressions that they may have. Everything on the chibi is over-dramatized. Now, I know I said that I draw the mouth like a lot sooner than that, but I kind of forgot to draw the mouth in. So the mouth is usually drawn rather small, not too much larger than, not too much wider than the nose. And sometimes you can add little details like a little bottom lip, maybe a little top lip, but just remember whenever you're drawing a chibi, less is more. So you don't want to sit there and then outline a character's mouth. I mean, you could. It's just fine. But that's only if your character is wearing some type of makeup or some sort. Otherwise, don't really do that. I don't even like to define the top lip when I'm drawing a chibi, usually. Now from here, I'll give the chibi clothing. Now the chibi right- oh, I forgot the other side of her hair. Right now, the chibi is nice and on this thin, she's really adorable looking. I love the way this looks. It's actually turned out a lot better than I thought it would. There could be some like little shading back there, but I'm not going to have that in because I'm going to color in the chibi eventually. And from here, I could start to erase things, but I'm drawing it on a different layer. No earlier I said I'm going to try my best to get as close to pen and paper as possible, but then I kind of changed my mind and went, I'm on a computer, why not just use it? I mean, for certain things. But from here on, it is just drawing in the details as you would draw in on anything else. So drawing in her jacket, the way that her jacket is, it goes down to about here. And since this character is a female, there are certain issues of like different parts of the anatomy, specifically adding in breast. This is a tutorial, I can say, I don't know, I can say fat bags like I usually do, but adding these in, it's not that hard, you just add little, just a little teardrop right here, that's a little teardrop, and the other one is also just a little teardrop. Adding those in, making it match up with like, this is where this is, so I don't know, I don't really want her to look like that, I mean that's, that's weird, I don't want my chibi to look like that. So, it's throwing some other things out the window where this should go, maybe just adding little bump right here because she is wearing a jacket and you don't really see it too much just adding in a little bump here and having the jacket just kind of fit around her and just lay nicely still adding in the fact that she is a female and there we go just a little bump right there now if you would want to give the chibi more of a body shape now, we'll take the, the drawing of most of the chibi and make it a wider opacity so I can see better what I'm doing. Maybe so you can see better too. Oops, erased the wrong layer. Now, having here with the chibi, now you can see the definition here, but sometimes you might want to give your chibi more of a body shape. Now, this is fine, just as long as you keep the basic idea of this chibi and keep the largest parts being the largest parts. For instance, the shoulders and where the hip is. 
Now, if your character would not know, this character now has a very defined body shape. But this character, whenever you look at her body shape, her body shape is not extremely curvy. It is, uh, it's closer to in the middle, not extremely curvy. So if I did give this character a bit of definition of body shape, then I would slightly add a curve as this. But because my character has on what she has on, there would not be too much of a definition that would have to be shown here. Now just adding this in. I could keep that curve there and just accentuate the curve that I gave her it with her jacket, erasing this, cleaning up the lines a little bit, and that is what her jacket, well, not finished yet, but just about looks like. Now because it's a chibi, I would not, all these details that are in the arm right here of her jacket would not all have to be there. As you can see, they would not have to be there. So moving this out of the way, looking at it, I could just add in some nice little details of the jacket, maybe like just big wrinkles in the jacket, like right here, and adding in this part that kind of folds over itself. Nice. And just folds over itself. Now because chibis don't really have to have hands, the only time I like to draw hands on a chibi is when they are specifically doing things or holding something, then I would just leave the chibi without that much of a hand. They just have a little circle. It doesn't really matter too much. So this chibi would have just be nice. And no hand, but like that's part of the jacket. Now from here, I would begin doing the I would begin doing the shirt, which I did not realize that her stomach showing, so I would have to draw just a little chibi belly button, <laughs> which would just be like a little normal thing, like a little line. It's kind of like a little comma. Now from here, I would just draw out a skirt. The skirt it would be very quick to draw, just basic little skirt shape. Pretty much drawing clothing on a chibi is just like... Pretty much drawing clothing on a chibi would just be any like any other clothing be really quick really easy now because the way that i draw these type of skirts that she's wearing i like to lengthen these parts rather than shorten the other parts and now we have like a cute little chibi thing and she has little knee warmers i guess you could call them she has little knee warmers they have like little stripes on them these are drawn i'm drawing these rather quickly and she has little shoes, which, because the way the chibi's feet go, you don't really have to define shoes. Not really. Now, if you'd want to, kind of just show off the way the chibi's shoes go, sort of like this. That seems nice. And... There we are! That is a nice little chibi. <laughs> she is so adorable. Uh, I forgot her shirt. I mean, she's a chibi. She still needs a shirt, though. Adding in a little quick shirt, putting a little heart on it. Remember, simplifying designs is something that you can also do, so instead of adding all the exact circles that the shirt actually does have, I will just add significantly less. And that is how you draw these types of chibis. That's the one where you don't change the length, that's the one where you do. Now there will be a bit of time lapse here, done with showing the coloring process of the chibi, because coloring you can see in lots of other let's draw videos or we could do a coloring tutorial be just fine just ask and see you after i'm done coloring
collapse is over. This is the finished product. Yes, blushies in... Because <laughs> I watch a lot of more acrylics, so I had to add in those blushies. <laughs> okay. Now that it's finished, let's compare it to the original image of the character. And let's bring her up on screen. There she is, the original image. I will zoom in. This has a picture of both Tammy and Cammy on it, and now that I realize, I've actually been saying the wrong name throughout the whole tutorial. Her name is actually Cammy, not Tammy. This is... Let's compare them both. And yes, Chibi looks nice. Now, I'm gonna do an extra little Chibi for the holiday season. Merry early Christmas to everyone out there. And I'm gonna draw a different Chibi. I cannot decide yet. Hmm. You'll just have to see. It'd be surprised. 